This is Tonga, a small town in the Upper Nile region of South Sudan. Entire communities in this area were uprooted when fighting broke out between the Sudan People's Liberation Army and armed opposition forces. Homes were burnt, schools shut, and medical facilities raided, costing many civilian lives. The Tonga Primary Health Care Centre is the only medical facility in the area, but it remains a health care centre in name only after the warring parties looted the facility, stripping it of hospital beds, equipment and other medical supplies. As you see, uh, our PHCC are being looted. Most of the equipment and the are looted. But uh, we, 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 we try to, to cross the borders of Sudan to have uh, some medical supply. Uh, for malaria, some essential drugs we use it to, to treat our patients. The health care center is running at a low capacity. It receives between 5 and 13 patients daily, with the most common cases being malaria, respiratory infections, typhoid, diarrhea and other waterborne diseases. For residents of Tonga, it remains the only hope of getting help. 27-year-old Eliza Nyolit Lowe, a single mother of four, took an 11-hour long dangerous walk alone with her 14-month-old sick daughter to reach the center. She was met by a virtually empty facility. The doctors, resilient as they are, are struggling to treat patients. They are appealing to humanitarian agencies and international partners for help with medical supplies to treat frequent trauma cases like snake bites and skin diseases. Yeah, we need a system like medical supply. Also, we need a cold chain for routine immunization. As you see, we, uh, we have uh, children under five children. They're supposed to have a routine vaccine, but we, we don't have it. A team from the United Nations mission in South Sudan recently visited this opposition-controlled area to assess the security situation and the humanitarian needs. From that, what we've seen is that, there, yes, there is need. People do need services. And now what we're doing is to look at how we can best address that, that need uh, from, from our work in other parts of the country. There is hope that the peace talks at the high-level revitalization forum in Addis Ababa will bring an end to the ongoing violence across South Sudan. Alice desperately shares that hope. We have been running for all these years. We need peace to come. When is peace coming back to South Sudan, she asks.